Several people, including my girlfriend, have asked the question recently, why is it that we can verbally and mercilessly pummel Christians and pretty much any other religion, but we act like we have to have kid gloves when dealing with Islam? After thinking about this and being questioned a few times, I think it's because we have a very good working knowledge of these religions as we either escaped from them or studied them during our escape from religion. Islam is kind of a blank void in our minds, and we really don't feel like doing the years of work needed to learn about it to make a serious argument. Non-stamp collector was asked to do an Islamic cartoon, and he declined, saying it was not his field of expertise. Atheists, as a majority, try to be as accurate as possible, or they'd still be religious, and they don't want to reduce their credibility by stating inaccuracies. There is also the cultural side of things. Several pictures from Draw Muhammad Day were rather culturally insensitive to me, in the same way as an ignorant person would draw Chinese, African, or Hispanic. It makes us look like stupid, ignorant Americans and does our entire group a disservice. It's like if I was attacking the Jewish religion by using a stereotype Jew from, say, a Nazi propaganda picture. My message may be completely on the mark about the Jewish religion, but the message would be totally lost. An actual cultural atheist Jew would be much better at attacking the religion or poking fun of their culture, and they do it all the time in film. They know the nuances and intricacies. So here's the challenge. If you are an ex-Muslim, please make YouTube videos discussing Islam the way we discuss Christianity. If you know an ex-Muslim, please encourage them to get on YouTube and start becoming active in the debate. I know at least one of my viewers is an atheist in a Muslim country, but sadly has to stay in the closet for fear of his life. IP addresses may be traceable by that government, and just watching my vids involves hacking and pirating. Do it for people like this who want their voice in the debate, but can't for fear of death. There is a real Islamic threat, and they are getting a free ride because we're clueless about their religion and culture. If you live in a free country, you have this freedom at the sacrifice others gave of their safety and lives for speaking out about the truth. Pass it on to your fellow beings. And atheists, make sure to give these ex-Muslims as much help as you can, be it idea help, video help, content help, or promotion help. We as a community need to be able to take off the kid gloves against Islam, but we need specialists to lead the charge. Unlike creationists, we don't attack things we don't understand, and we don't go outside our specialty just like scientists. Until this happens, we will keep dancing around the issue because we're worried about making the problem worse by making factual and cultural errors and just offending them needlessly.